Hey, my name is Jason Hunter. I'm the technical service advisor here at Standard Supply. I want to go over a few things that uh, probably one of the most common overlooked things uh, with horizontal applications, especially, uh, is the proper installation of condensate drains. First off, I want to go over what uh, city code requires uh, you to uh, do on all in installations. When you pull out your instructions for your installation manual, uh, they'll usually say, uh, if it's an air handler which has negative pressure, it will uh, require you to put a P-trap uh, and then on a furnace or positive pressure applications it will say uh, P-trap recommended but not required. But all city code usually requires you to put a P-trap on every application. So first off, I want, this is a, a sample of our horizontal drain pan. Um, similar to what you'll see in our A coils as well. Uh, don't forget to knock out your knockouts for all your uh, whatever application you want to take uh, to apply this to, whether it be uh, left side or right side application. Uh, just make sure you knock out all your uh, plastic knockouts, obviously. Um, first off, This is the main drain, and this is the emergency or the secondary bypass drain. And I'm gonna first give you an example. And don't forget to use glue and primer. I'm not using glue and primer right now, obviously. Okay. Okay. Basically, what you have here is your. Uh, Mail adapter coming into a 90, going into the J-trap. Um, the reason I like using the J-traps is because your static pressure, uh, you have enough weight of the water in, in the uh, trap to form an air seal. So when it comes on the other side, on the, on the false side, you have a, a uh, vent, and that's exactly what it is. It's a vent, kind of like uh, you have on your uh, Speak it on your gas tank, on your gas can for your lawnmower, you have a breather. That's kind of what this serves as, okay? All this is is an air seal. So therefore, when air, negative air is going by, going through the uh, coil, you have negative pressure, which the negative pressure is trying to draw air through these holes. Well, once you have this P-trap here, the air seal is made, so therefore it's not it's not pulling air from here, but it's pulling air from here now. So what we have to do is equal equal the resistance that this applies to here. So what what's required by code is to second uh, secondary drain has to have a trap. So what I'll do is I'll just grab a P trap, or you can grab one of those as well. You obviously have your emergency drain pan underneath it, and simply put it on here like so and then it and then it falls down into the emergency drain pan so now what we have is two air seals and we do not have any air bypassing through either hole preventing any water from draining down the, the down the drain so that's a sample of a horizontal application um, by municipal code okay so some sometimes You'll see, you'll go into a, a job and you'll see um, something like this, like this right here, where it's just draining simply right into the mercy drain pan. Well, like I said earlier, you have uh, air bypassing through here and prevents water from draining here, okay? So if we have to equal that, what you can do, if city code is not a particular factor, you take that. Take another T, and in some cases, people have already done this too. Put another T on there, and put another vent stack on there. Now, what happens is you have equal pressure going out each hole, so this is in positive pressure applications only. You don't do this on a heat pump or negative pressure. So, what happens is air 
bypasses through here, allows the drain, or allows the water to fall. Same as here. You don't have, you have equal pressure resistance here and here. It's just all bypassing through on positive pressure. Now, if this was done on a negative pressure system, you come to a service call and you have a negative pressure system, you, what you'll do is just simply put a cap on that right there, and it serves as the drain I had prior. But with that said, you had to, again, put your secondary drain on there, or secondary trap, I mean. So you form two air seals. It's the same, that's the same application as what I had prior. So bottom line, basically, when you go into a house, whatever scenario is uh, you're faced with with a drain, you're the last one there. So if you touched it last, it's your fault. So when you get a call back on a drain problem and you didn't fix it prior to your you know, for last visit, you're gonna be responsible. So uh, I would advise you to, to uh, go ahead, take the time and fix the, fix the drain, prevent any callbacks and you know, equal the pressures on each side of the, uh, the primary and secondary drain and you'll be fine. Thank you.